Hello. Bear with me for a second. I have slight mishap. Um, and by that, I mean, I haven't put the beads away that are on the floor next to me. They're leaning against stuff, but one of them, one of the bags slid and I stepped on it and I popped it open and I had pony beads all over my floor. So I had to deal with that, but we're good now. We're, we're good now. Let me get my bracelets on. I feel naked without them. Um, anyway, we're, what are we doing today? We are working on the cardigan, but I want to show off my Timu order because I've been excited for this. Um, I want to start wearing my shawls again. I pulled out an old one and I've got a few others that I was trying to sell, but they've never sold. I've never sold one in my life. So I'm just going to take them out of uh, my store and start wearing them because they're great for, they're great for keeping me warm without being like bulky. Some of them are kind of bulky, but yeah. And I got some yarn to make more anyway. I'm gonna show you guys. Actually, I'm gonna zoom in slightly. So I bought, so I also messaged my mom. I don't know if she's gonna like get check my, her messages anytime soon. She's so busy with the move. Um, that, that's fair. Like I'm not, I should, I guess I should clarify. I'm not mad. I'm not mad that she's busy with the move. I'm just, it's kind of like a statement of fact. Anyway, um, she's moving and she's packing up a bunch of stuff. And I asked her if by chance she has some of my grandmother's old brooches and pins. Because I bought some from Timu. And while I shouldn't have, because I could have just asked my mom, I thought some of the ones I saw on Timu were really cute. But the reason is, is because I have shawl pins, but they're kind of just like round circles of wood with a stick. And I keep losing the stick part. And I want something kind of cute. Now, I was wearing a shawl earlier with my, my work shirt. Um, I changed because I was overheating and I'm tired. So I'm going to show you guys what I bought. So I bought this one. I'll hold it up to the little camera. See, it's a very sparkly, like, wreath thing. It's really nice. Down. I got this little sheep that's made of... All of these are, like, fake jewels and crystals and shit, but little cheap pearl i got this one this one's kind of neat um it like the the beads look like berries on a vine kind of cool um i got this one which is a bundle of lavender i'm assuming and they're they're just like brooch pins but they're perfect for holding shawls together and looking kind of nice. So these last three are the ones I'm like super excited for. Got this one, which is some pomegranate. Really pretty. Then I got this, which I wore earlier. It's this giant fish, a purple fish. Um, it's really pretty. Just got a text message. Hopefully it's from my mom. It's from my mom. Like I said, she's been busy. And then this one's like a little chipmunk with some like raspberries. It's super cute. So I got these. Um, I should have gotten some more like generic, like silver ones instead of ones with color, but. All right, let me. Hell yeah. So, um, my mom said, so she said she actually has my grandmother's old jewelry box. So,
My mom has the flu. Sorry. Okay. My mom's got the flu. She's got a fever of like 102. She just sent me a picture of her thermometer. So, but she does know where my grandmother's jewelry box is and it does have brooches and shawl pins and old actually old like costume earrings she said that could work as well i don't know if the costume earrings will work for my shawls but i could i could buy like pin backs and repurpose the old earrings into shawl pins um i would never wear the, my grandmother's jewelry though like her actual jewelry i would never wear it in my ears it's not pretty. All of the good jewelry got stolen by my brother. My brother, okay, so I should clarify. My brother had a drug problem. And when he was in his teens and his um, early 20s, he had a drug problem and he stole all of my grandmother's old jewelry, her good stuff, and pawned it for drug money. So. So. A lot of the stuff that's left of my grandmother's jewelry is like costume jewelry and shit with no real value. And I know that these brooches are not like expensive pieces. They're just kind of vintage. And I think they would look really cool with like shawls, as uh, shawl pins. So. so that's why I asked my mom for them. Not because I think they're going to be like trendy or anything, but because and part of it is because I don't, I actually have never asked for any jewelry. Um, anyway, so she, she, um, I've never asked for any of my grandmother's jewelry. Like my mom's a little shocked that I asked for something of my grandmother's, um, I, I, the only thing I've ever asked for really is that cake plate that I really want, but she's got some knickknacks of my grandmother's as well that I'll, I'll get, um, I don't know. I just, and my mom, my mom has like put some stuff aside of my grandmother's for me. One of the things she put aside and I won't use them is my grandmother's, uh, crochet hooks. They're old, like steel hooks. And my, gra my grandmother used to do like doilies with thread. So I'm never going to use these hooks for a couple reasons. One, they're straight hooks and they're going to hurt my hands. And two, I don't work that small. I don't work with thread. So she's going to send me those. I told her like no rush on getting, getting them to me. I just would like to have them, but I can always repurpose the jewelry because my mom won't ever wear my grandmother's jewelry either, but I can repurpose the jewelry into stuff. I have no idea how I would go about it, but I can figure it out. <sighs> so my goal for today. So I, okay. Yes. I said yesterday, there's no stream until Saturday and I'm lying because I'm here. I felt so, so there's a couple things at play. I felt really, really shitty that I had to end stream yesterday because of the problem at work. Um, as of right now, the problem is kind of contained. And by that, I mean the resident is at the hospital and is to stay at the hospital until, well, until further notice. Um, so there shouldn't be any drama at work. There should be like zero to no drama. And then, um, uh, I'm not on call. I'm not on call for the houses. So there should be zero to like, there should be almost no drama today and go on site tomorrow, but they, uh, I am off work a little early today. I just, I, I was honest with them. I was like, I don't feel good. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't feel good. Um, so dealing with the drama last night while not feeling the greatest took a lot out of me. I am 
exhausted, but I'm hoping that my my Ritalin is kicking in, so I should be fine for a bit. But I do genuinely feel bad. Now, I said tonight was going to be my date night. That's why I wasn't going to stream. My partner didn't get to bed until like noon. So he's not going to be awake until like 7.30, 8 o'clock tonight. If not later. So he's not going to be awake for a bit. And so I'm just going to stream to one, give him some space so he can sleep. Yeah, I tried working from bed today. I got some, I did get some stuff done while laying in bed with my laptop. Well, not laying, like propped up in bed with my laptop. But I just, I felt myself getting super tired in bed and lights were down low so he could sleep. And I just had the closet light on so I could see. And I was just like, I'm getting so tired. And I think part of it was I was wearing long sleeve shirt and it was I didn't have the fan on because it was making my eye water so I just was like I'm just gonna sleep <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to my office where it's cooler and get work done and basically I was waiting on some last minute paperwork some paperwork that came in like two minutes before I started stream to finish my part of my project for the day so I will just work on it some more tomorrow afternoon um, is my plan. So, I have a meeting for a few hours. Thursdays are busy. I have to see what time my shit is tomorrow. My stuff tomorrow. Let's see. 35 minute drive at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, directions. So I want to see what these directions I say I leave here at 8.20 in the morning tomorrow. Should take 40 minutes. So I need to be up a little bit earlier than I normally am. Not, not significant, just 15. I just need to wake up about 15 minutes earlier than normal. Um, so I just need to be up 15 minutes before my planned time. Um, need to, so I need to be up at I need to be up at 7.45 instead of 8. So I get up at 8 every day. Um, oh boy. Remember I said that drama calmed down? Nope, of course not. Me. I don't think there's going to be drama today. Also me. Gets an email five, less than five minutes later about the drama. Let me check this, guys. Let me, let me up get my second my next row started so we're gonna get to 55 today because if we get to 55 today in theory if i stream on friday we'll finish this on friday but we will finish this by the end of the weekend um my plan is to have this finished by the end of saturday's stream and then yeah that's the working plan right now let me go. No. Being able to do my work at my computer is a nice one. Because we use a Google workshop. Work. Well, that is a that is a situation I don't have to deal with today. This is that is well, it is partially my my monkeys. 
The response to that is not my circus. Or, yeah, while it is partially my circus, it is not, the, the response to that is not my monkeys. I do not have to respond to that. That is from somebody above me, or at least above me until possibly Friday. Well, we'll see. Um, so we're having a great day, fantastic day, lovely day. <laughs> My bracelet's on. I'm really something when I'm sitting here in a pair of like joggers, like active wear pants and then a nice top and pony bead bracelets and a rainbow wrist watch band and a shawl with the vintage esque shawl, uh, like pin holding it together. It's just, I'm something. Me embracing my inner old lady. I don't know. I just find that the shawls are nicer. Also, part of why I'm in the tank top is I got to about three o'clock, well, 10 to three. My neck started hurting and I was already overheating. So if you saw me in this tank top, I was in it for all of like an hour and a half, two hours yesterday. So fine. It does smell like my perfume, but it means that I'm going to put more perfume on. Also, I, um, I looked up the price so that perfume that I got and I tried the knockoff version of, of the perfume. I looked up the like OG perfume. <laughs> I thought my Tom Ford black orchid was expensive. I'm not, I'm not paying, I'm not paying $350 for a small bottle of perfume. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> When I said it made me smell expensive, it's because it's knock off of something that's really expensive. So I uh, opted against, I opted against dealing with it. But the, I ended up not having to deal, do too much yesterday after I got streamed with the drama. Um, get a feeling that this email Oh, it's not it vibrates my my watch so I can look over at my phone and um, my phone will pop up like a little preview of my email so I can tell you if it's it is a work email but it's like our automated scheduling system our scheduling system sending an automated email about they send I get those e these automated emails at s about seven in the morning three in the afternoon and eleven o'clock at night basically if a staff is going to is scheduled to possibly go into overtime. Everyone on the management team gets an email about it. And I really wish I didn't because I don't care. It's not my job. So let's delete the email. But yeah, I want to get to 55 today because I want to be on track to finish this this weekend. Finish this panel, not the cardigan. Hopefully we will finish at least a sleeve uh, by the end of Monday. Um, stream on Sunday will start later than usual. Um, that's just how it's going to be for the next four weeks. Um, and Saturday is the last time we have a normal our normal my normal noon start time for stream on saturday um because then actually wait yeah no it'll be like a 1 30 start time uh, on saturdays going forward after not after this saturday because unless i have something going on but uh generally don't but that's okay it's, it's okay um i do have to leave in the morning i do have to go off site like off leave my home in the morning um but my partner 
did something for me on Monday. Monday night. I had asked him because he had school on Tuesday and I've been taking his car that I need some stuff moved from my car so I can see out the back window because his car has a backup camera but it also didn't have bookshelves and, and shit in the back. So I uh, asked him for just to bring just a couple of the totes inside so that I could lay the bookshelves down flat or at least as flat as I can get them. And I did that, or he took the totes out of my car, but he put them in his car, which not ideal, but I totally get his reason. I get his like thought process on it. Um, but they're not, they're, I can, I didn't, he didn't move the bookshelves the way I wanted him to. So I had to go and do that. But I think I should be. I, I can see out my back window now. That's that I can do. I can see out my back back window. Um, it's a little obstructed, but it's part of why I need to be able to see out of my back window is um, the way where I'm parked in the garage. I'm in a very tight corner space against a wall, um, and while I have a ton of space to on my driver's side, I have to back out towards my driver's side um and behind me are the dumpsters so if i was in my part like where my partner's parked or literally any other part of the drive the the uh garage i could just back right out normally because i'd have the clearance and space but one it's a good thing i have a compact because if i i've seen my neighbors also park pull out and it's a uh, feet because they have a giant suv or seen my parking neighbors at least but I have to be able to see out the back of my window so I don't hit the dumpsters and I don't have a backup cam. Um, so needing to be able to see was important. So I hated trying to back out of my parking space. And also I just don't like driving, not being able to see my behind me. I, I'm a avid user of my mirrors, all of them. Um, oh. So when I went to, when I took my car on Tuesday to the doctor's office, yeah, so I, when I took my car yesterday to the doctor's, I could sort of see, I, I had to adjust when I got home, but we were good. We were good to go. Why did that now just pop up? What? What? Around 34. Like I said, I want to get to 55. That's That was 25 rows. I did get a few rows done this morning. Like, my goal was 32 yesterday, so I tried to get as close to the 32 as possible before starting stream. Um, I do, at some point, probably tomorrow, I do have to pick up my meds. Ah, that's what I forgot to do, is call the pharmacy. This is my second energy drink of the day. It's ring pop flavored. I don't think I would buy the ring pop flavor again. It's weird. It's like palatable, like I'll drink it. Unlike some flavors I've tried, but it's not, it's not my ideal flavor. I like citrusy stuff. This is more fruity, berry stuff. I love, if I could find an energy drink that's both sugar free and Reminder to clock out. doesn't give me the jitters. I have to say these rise fuels don't give me the jitters. So that's a bonus. But if I could find a energy drink that is like cranberry flavored, I would probably not. I would probably only drink that. I love cranberries love cranberry stuff um so i bought i buy when i buy my do my groceries i buy myself a couple things with cranberry juice i do like different cranberry fruit cocktails so like tonight i'll probably drink the white peach cran that's really good i love that stuff 
But I also had a mango cranberry that was really good. I don't know why I'm talking about cranberries. Wild. Anyways, I, I just love cranberries and cranberry juice. Which is kind of good because I am prone to TIs at times. So, being able to... Now I know that the fruit cocktails aren't good because of all the sugar and I should be drinking the 100% juice ones. But that stuff's expensive. So, still drink decent cranberry juice, but... Um, the only thing is, is I can't have the cran apple stuff because I'm allergic to apples. Which is funny because my brother is also allergic. So this is, this is funny. I haven't, I didn't have a issues with apples. Like apple cider was my fall, my fall drink for the longest. And then last year I had ordered, I had started having issues and we thought it was like cinnamon. And I had, um, I had gotten an apple pie from Popeye's because they were out of the beignets, so they sent apple pies. And I was eating it while in class. I have my camera off, but... And my mouth started to straight up just swell up. Uh, so, and then the thought process was with, like, my issues with, my, with lemons is, like, if I microwave the lemon or if I heat up the lemon, I can have it because it kills the enzymes that causes the stuff in my mouth. Can't do that with apple because an apple pie was cooked. And so then we tested it and I bought apple cider, a whole gallon of it, which made my partner happy because he loves just juice in general and, and fruit juice. And I drank a, I, I poured a glass of it and I took a swig of it. So I can't have apples anymore, which is funny because when I was growing up, my brother actually has an allergy to apple. So, uh, find it funny that now him and I have a <clears throat> shared allergy. He also has an allergy to like corn and soy, poor boy, and milk. Not lactose intolerant, but like he's allergic to milk. It, his allergies are like varying, but yeah, glad I haven't just de develop any of those apple thing kind of sucks but like it's it's normal it's it's pretty easy to to work around so i'm not i'm not too fussy about it and, and i kept forgetting to make coffee so i'm gonna make coffee tonight that is my goal before i even go into the bedroom for the night my job is to make coffee um so that is it, it's not hard for me to do it i just forgot yesterday because of everything that was going on with work and by the time i remembered it was like 10 30 at night and i wasn't feeling great but I really missed my coffee the last couple of days. So I'm going to make some tonight and get my, get everything situated for that. I do have new coffee beans, so I'm not out of coffee beans yet, but I'm working my way through the bag and I've got about a third of a bag left. So I ordered some new ones. They're the same company, the Copper Moon, but instead of the Sumatra blend I got, the strong or it's, it's basically super strong stuff. So I'm going to give it a shot. And I did get creamer yesterday. So I do have, I still have creamer. I still have caramel creamer, but I bought peppermint mocha. I'm excited. Love, I love peppermint mocha. Things I love, peppermint and cranberry. Not together though. Um, uh, Jelly Bean, Jelly Belly had these holiday flavored jelly beans and they actually had peppermint ones and cranberry ones. And um, they had some other flavors. They had like eggnog. I don't mind eggnog actually. I don't like it as a jelly bean flavor, but I love the cranberry ones. Again, love cranberries. So. Because I'm a weirdo. 
I love going to Sonic and I might, oh, I might do that tomorrow because I'm going to be near the Sonic. I'm going to be near a Sonic for lunchtime. Um, so I'm going to be near Sonic at lunchtime. So I might swing in depending on how my stomach feels and get, I know there's a Sonic over in Bloomington because I got to go to Bloomington. I don't mind saying that much because you guys know I, I like I'm pretty open that I live in the in the Twin Cities of Minnesota, but I just I'm a little bit more careful about which suburb I live in. Not that it matters. My address technically pings as Minneapolis, but I do live in a suburb. But I have to go to Bloomington, and I know that they have Sonic over in Bloomington. Oh, to God, it's not at the Mall of America. <laughs> but I have to go over there, so I might find the Sonic and get myself a Cranberry Limeade. I'm an insane person who likes really tart stuff. I like tart stuff, not sour. I like sour stuff too, but I prefer something tart instead of sour. Like, I don't like my lemonade to be super sweet. I like it a little bit more tart. Around 36. I'm gonna get 10 rows. Like I said, I want to get to 55 today. And I feel, like I said, I, I also feel like genuinely bad that I had a cut stream yesterday. Because I was prepared to stream for a bit yesterday. Um, but, oh yeah, the other reason I'm wearing my tank top is my neck has been giving me some issues. I did take a muscle relaxer. Um, and that does sometimes make me sleepy. But I've been drinking this energy drink and had my Ritalin. So that should... I'm, I'm pretty awake now. What helps is, the, the reason I have the tank top on is I might have to put the heating pad on. And I've been kind of overheating the last couple of days. I'm excited. So. It'll be a fun trip to the things. I will have to, I'm gonna put my watch on the charger. Um, I usually do this in the morning and then I put it on about 1030 and it holds me until the next day. Um, I'm putting it on the charger now because I need to, um, I need to, um, I won't have too much time in the morning to charge it before I have to leave. So I don't want to forget it tomorrow. Um, and I, this morning I woke up and it was at like 30%, which that's because I, what happened is I fell asleep and I didn't put it into the bedtime mode. Bedtime mode is like super ba battery saver and it doesn't like nothing can wake it up unless I physically hit a button. So I forgot to do that and I kept bumping it in my sleep and draining the battery. So I will remember to put bedtime mode on tonight and So we, I had decided 76 rows, so 30, 37, 37 is 38, 38 is halfway point of this. We started this on Monday, Sunday or Monday. Not bad. I haven't been crocheting during the day. As evident, I did today a little bit, but like I was super tired and I was busy with work stuff. So. So yeah. So I basically am in a weird situation where I have like flu-like symptoms because I got my flu shot and my COVID va vaccine yesterday. And that's not the problem. The problem is 
I got I was on those steroids for a bit within like the last month and um they've you're not supposed to do take steroids and then get vaccines within like three months or something insane like that and I was like I I took the F it we ball approach to that yesterday because I knew that if I didn't get my vaccines, my flu shot or my um, COVID booster while I was at the doctor's, I probably wouldn't get it for a bit. Like I probably would just forego the whole flu shot this year. But my doctor was very much like, hey, you work in healthcare, you probably really should have these. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So she was just like, it's going to hit you a little harder. So it has, but the suck is I'm going to probably be over it tomorrow or Friday morning and then I'll go in and get my injections for my uh my in my my headaches and get the Botox flu so so that'll be fun not really but I haven't had any like upper respiratory symptoms. I just feel run down, which is which is how I usually feel after a vaccine for a couple of days. I just feel like run down and tired. Um, the thing that sucks the most is my arm. The the flu shot subsides fine. My partner poked it a few times last night, and I had to have him stop. But my side that they did my COVID shot, there's like a bump, a hard spot from where they did it, which sucks because this is the side with my tattoo. <laughs> This is my tattoo side. Should have had her do the COVID shot on the other side. Uh, it'll go down. I probably could put heat on it and it'll be fine. Um, I might put my heating pad on. On my arm when I lay down in bed tonight. I have not played on my Steam Deck the last few nights. I've been... Let's see. Uh, on Sunday and Monday night... Sunday I played my on my deck for a bit and then I took a break and decided to write and then Monday night I just wrote last night I was going to write and then I just felt so cruddy and I was dealing with that work stuff that I pulled out my computer I did pull out my computer my like my laptop but I ended up not writing um pulled out my laptop to do my New York Times mini crossword like, should I show you guys? Should I do those on stream? Like, would you guys want to see me do like my connections and stuff? Back on call. Like word games and stuff. I only do connections. I didn't do Puck Doku. I could do that too. Um, that one's a little bit harder for me. I, my brain. I was doing some of the older ones last. That's what I ended up doing was like little little brain puzzles last night. Um, I need to do more like word and brain puzzles uh, for my brain health. So I was also not not sober when I was doing them, but I got it right. Oh wait, I already did the mini today. I haven't done the puck doku. So I can do Puck Doku. Puck Doku! I couldn't... Could I do it on my phone? I was struggling to do it on my phone. It wasn't letting me do it. I cannot do the New York Times mini crossword on my phone. For some reason, it just doesn't want to pull up the text box for me to type. So, But I did it today. I struggled. I wish I could get like a hint besides the prompt. But I did do it today. I it took me it took me like two minutes and ten seconds yesterday to do it, and I was high, and it took me five minutes and like thirty seconds this afternoon to do it, and I was sober, but I was sleepy. So I don't know what that says about me. I think today's was just a little bit harder. So.
But yeah, if you guys want me to do like Puck Doku, I could. I could do like my word games on stream. Only thing I'd have to do is close out of my. Well, can't really see it. My home tab. I keep one tab open. I used to keep TweetDeck as that tab, but then they killed TweetDeck unless you pay for it. And even if you pay for it, it kind of sucks. So I, uh, I keep my weather page so I can always check to see the weather before I go anywhere. Probably just wear my canvas shoes tomorrow. I don't feel like wearing my boots. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, all right, let's do Puck Doku. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to show my, my thing. Uh. Okay, top row's done. Um, who am I thinking? Okay, bottom row is done. This is where the problem is coming in. Unfortunately, I have to pick him. Okay, so I need to f figure out a Swedish player who's played for the Blues. Oh. Oh, that's that's right. I remember now. Hell yeah! I got a perfect with a score of 163 for uniqueness. So I, mine was, mine was more unique than the average. That's good. So. I don't remember who I picked. Mm, yeah. So I did have a deep cut with a 500 point career and uh, played for the Blues, which was Paul Stastny. It was a 0.7% pick. My highest pick was a Swedish player on the Lightning, which was Victor Hedman. And then 500 career points, which was Steven Stamkos. So. And then Alexander Steen for the Blues. My lowest one was Paul Stastny. That was pretty good. I did pretty good. So, if you guys want me to do these on stream, I absolutely can. I do my wordles and stuff. Um. I won't do, or not, not Wordle, uh, Connections. I don't do Wordle. I could do Wordle, but I don't, I don't think my brain can handle that. I used to do the song one, then Spotify bought it and literally killed it. Hurdle, that's what it was called. So, but no, I do Connections. I did really good on Connections. I did it on my work computer, so. Because I was, again, killing time waiting on. I was killing time waiting on the. Um, 
whatchamacallit, the paperwork that I didn't get until two minutes before I started to stream. Two minutes before I was done with the day. We'll see. I have a meeting about my job position on Friday. So I'm gonna figure out what's going on. Because my, my job currently, my position is very just like there. I just get a list of shit to do every day. Um, so I don't know like where I slot in on the org chart or anything like that. And it's just want some clarifications, stability so I know what I'm doing it sucks but should have some clarity on Friday we're gonna look at some stuff oh. I used my tens unit earlier and that helped me for a bit but then it started like hurting so I might have to I think it was when it starts to hurt really bad, it's because the electrode pads aren't making the like the connection to my skin like it should. Which sucks because I changed them on like well I changed them on Friday and it's Wednesday. But they're supposedly they supposedly last a week. But I don't believe it. Because I've never had them be able to stay sticky for a week, and I do everything possible. To keep them going. So I'll pull out a new. Actually, no, I changed those on Monday. Sunday or Monday. So I'll pull out new ones. Or I'll try the other tens unit. Try the nicer one, which is in my work bag. My work bag's right behind me, though. So um, I was supposed to do some like thing. Oh, lovely. Doing my work as a woman. Well, I'm not a woman, so fuck you. Uh, you are banned? Thoughts on Israel-Palestine? I'm not talking about that. I'm clearly fundraising for Doctors Without Borders. I'm also not dealing with that. Doing my work as a woman. Well, I'm not a woman, so <laughs> Hello. Tread carefully. I am making a cardigan. So, um, this is a commission for someone there I'm being paid to make this so just like a little sweater Sorry if I was very... What's the background music? Um, It is from my pretzel playlist. Thank you. Uh, I've got the song name. It's underneath my webcam. So that's the song and artist. Keep them. I keep it on the screen so people can see what it is. But...
I'm gonna pull out a Ugh. Pulling out a stitch marker. I put them every 10 so that I can keep track of what I'm doing. But I am over the halfway point of this piece. I know it doesn't look like a cardigan right now, it just kind of looks like a square or a rectangle or apt. But. Yeah, sorry about my tread carefully comment, but I had two people back to back immediately say shitty things. So. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> so your timing was, your timing was a little <laughs> not great. So sorry about that. I I don't know. I have no idea. I don't trolls on the internet and uh trolls on the internet and I, I used to moderate a large sports subreddit on Reddit. I don't anymore, but I have a fast track way of dealing with trolls. <laughs> I just kill it right in the, just kill it. So that's just. That's just, that's my method of just nope. I mean, it's not bragging; it's a statement of fact. Like I. What I'm saying is, as an internet janitor, I just delete and ban. It's a good day to die. It's one of the things I run into. But I am going to take a quick break. While I'm gone, I'm going to run an ad. Um, it'll be a three minute ad. It, pre it disables pre-rolls. Um, pushes the auto ad back by an hour. So um, you won't miss anything because I'm going to step away to use the bathroom and stretch my hands and my legs and stuff. So I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I needed a stretch break. I grabbed a drink while I was up, too. So. see I made it an hour today Ugh, excuse me and I got 10 rows done so that's pretty good like I said I want to get as much of this done today as possible hopefully get to row 55 Hopefully I don't get any more distractions or anything like that, so. But who knows with me, I'll probably get distracted in 10 minutes. Because I get distracted easily. start taking certain things off my stream. And by that I mean certain tags. I wonder when the next full moon is. People are acting wild this week. I'm gonna check that actually. When is the next full moon? And I, not just like acting wild on Twitch, but 25th of January. So not even close. It's just in the water, I guess. Yeah. Doing this, getting this, like I said, I want to finish this panel by the end of Saturday. So, that's, that's the goal. Let's get this finished and put, I don't know if I'm going to put the shoulders together. So new here the straight the sweater is made in pieces and I have to sew them together 
it suggests that I wait till the end to sew it all together. And I don't know if I want to do all of my suffering at once or do it over time. So that's a thing I need to decide. I'll probably just decide it as soon as I finish this. Because I'll have to sew, sew both sides, both shoulders. So that's four sewing. Plus the sleeves, so that's six. Plus the pockets, that's eight. And then I have to add the collar to the whole thing. So... Yeah. It might just be something I do off stream in my bedroom. <laughs> I, I think that's, I think that's the plan here. I think I will just haul all the pieces into my bedroom and one night just stitch them together. <laughs> then I can ship it to the recipient. So like I said, I want to have this whole thing done by the end of the month. And then I got to get back to work on the blanket, but I'm not gonna, not pushing to get that done. Now this is the kind of stuff I like. Let's do it. neck is starting to hurt really bad. It's not a good sign. I want to keep going, but my neck hurts too bad. It's one of those things like streaming during the week is so tough because I have to stream in the evening. This is, again, this isn't my job. Oh, by the time I get to doing this in the afternoon, it is, I have already worked my job for the day. Except on the weekends. Um, so my neck is like hurting really bad by the time I get to this point of the day. I took a muscle relaxer, but... I think things will look... Things will be a little bit better in the next couple... Like, in a couple, like three weeks. Because my meds will have... Or my treatments will have kicked in. Part of me is getting to that point of losing my mind. I hate this pattern. I actually don't hate the pattern. I hate how boring it is because it's a very boring pattern. That's the problem with it. It's like it's super boring. So it doesn't it doesn't like uh, it doesn't like change or anything. It's just the same thing forever and ever. I should do the math to see how many times I've done this stitch in this pattern. Nevertheless, we persevere. I, I'm actually gonna put my heating pad on. Um, 
Hopefully some of my regulars show up. Be nice. Um. What? Sorry, I just got a work email. Oh, okay. We're not doing our afternoon meeting tomorrow? Question mark? I want to make sure it was the afternoon meeting. Or if it was the midday meeting. It was the 2.15 meeting. Oh! We do have a meeting at noon that I don't know if I'm going to be able to attend. We have our afternoon meeting, which is usually an hour and a half long meeting, got canceled. So I will That's nice. I stop getting work emails after four o'clock? The answer is no, I can't. But the reason I say four o'clock and not five o'clock is because uh, my work schedule is eight to five, four, not nine to five. But I got done at three today because I wasn't feeling good. Still not feeling good. Okay, I need to read this. Okay, remember that situation I said that is absolutely technically my circus, but not my monkeys? Somebody else dealt with it, is dealing with it. It's not that I don't want to deal with it, it's just I'm not the person who should be dealing with this. Given what's going on. So. Um. So that's just how that goes. I'm just going to deal with this too, because that sitting, that's also sitting. That's also sitting weird with me. I'm going to remind you guys of something. Um, this is my chat. And telling me not brag about things when I wasn't bragging or saying I'm doing my job as a woman when I'm not a woman and you're being obviously blatantly sexist 
or asking me about geopolitical conflicts and where I am actively fundraising for Doctors Without Borders, which should answer all of your questions right away. None of that is going to be okay. I need to, I need to stress something here. I am not in my 20s. I've been around the internet for a long time and I will just ban and I don't care. So I need, this is my house. You're coming into my space and my chat. You need to act respectful. Don't make me have to spill out rules because I really don't want to do that. So just a reminder that, you know, doing those things, telling me what to do and shit like that does not can fly. Sorry. It doesn't. And I'm not the person to try it with. Um, so I, I feel like I need to, to stress that again of if you want to fuck around in my chat, you're going to find out. So I just, I want to stress the fuck around and find out clause is in effect here. Fuck around at your own peril. When I say I, I, I was a Reddit mod, I meant that in the sense of I don't tolerate bullshit and I will deal with it. Still Reddit mod technically, just not for our hockey. Um, so I just don't go on Reddit. Okay, I go on Reddit for the am I the assholes and to look at some uh, stuff if my partner sends it to me, but I just generally stay off of it. So. So yeah, if something sits uncomfortable with me, I just, I just deal with it. That's me bragging would be me talking about how I'm, I've got a master's degree and getting my doctorate and stuff like that. That's bragging. Me talking about moderating Reddit is not bragging. It's giving context to why I will not tolerate bullshit. So that is your guys' reminder. I have to do this reminder every so often of, yeah, come in here, fuck around and find out it. The people who came in here and were like that today don't even follow me, so. Sorry if I'm... Stop sending me emails. I have some packages coming today. I just don't know where they are. They said they'll be here by four, five forty-five. So, but I don't think I'm gonna grab them today. If if they're putting the parcel locker, now I have four emails. Speaking of parcel lockers. They're all parcel locker emails. Me, I have email, I have stuff coming from Amazon. Also me, if they're in the parcel locker, I'm probably not gonna go get them until tomorrow. All of my emails, ooh, email. They're all parcel locker, so I actually might go get them later. We'll see how I feel. I might go downstairs. It's taking up four slots. I don't like when they do that. I need to check the mail anyways, because I'm waiting on my company card. Let's 
So I need to, I'll talk to my director on Friday. Be like, I don't have a company card yet. Ugh. Okay. Back to this. Ah, uh, the song gets so loud. I always forget. Sound mixing. Yesterday, or was it yesterday? No, it was Monday. It's today I have to shower. I was in the shower, and I was letting the hot water like just hit my neck because it was super tight. It's super tight now too. Um, I was letting the hot water hit my neck. Uh, so I don't usually linger in the shower and I <laughs> turned to go wash my face and I felt like a, like the loudest crack happened and I was just like, oh, that's not good. Um, it did not feel good. It did, I, should, I should say that much. It, it did did not feel great. Felt absolutely terrible, actually. Like, the worst. I was not happy with how that turned out. So I haven't had anything to post on Instagram in a few days uh, because I have been working on this stupid cardigan. I keep reminding myself I'm getting paid for this. That's That is what's these, the two things that I keep saying to myself in my head about this cardigan are I'm getting paid for it, one, and two, the sooner I get it done, the sooner I can do literally anything else. <laughs> Basically, the sooner I finish this, the sooner I can move on to other projects. And that brings me immense joy. That is my thought process of getting through this. But we are, we are trucking through, so. I won't have, I probably won't have much time to crochet tomorrow. Um, actually, I know I won't. I've got to go uh, to a class training thing in the morning. And then I have a meeting in the afternoon, which I don't know how that meeting's even gonna go, um, but um, yeah. So I have a meeting in the afternoon, and I have to also be on site tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to my training and then head straight to the site. Hopefully, get there before my noon meeting. Probably won't. Uh, probably won't make it in time. But I will be driving so I can always join virtually, but I don't... My problem with doing that is I don't want to do that. Um, like this morning, there were five of us in the meeting and three people were driving while in the meeting. And I'm just sitting there like, no, I don't like that. I'm one of those people who don't who does not touch their phone when they drive. Like, I have a like a device thing for my Spotify, so I can just change songs with that. My phone gets put on its little holder and it stays there and it doesn't get touched. So I'm probably not going to join that meeting from my car. Um...
I'll I'll make phone calls, but I'll use my voice to to initiate the call. But like, I do not touch, do not touch the the phone while I drive. So because I'm scared. Also, it's supposed to snow tonight. If it's not already snowing. Um. So it's supposed to snow tonight and. I uh, don't want to be messing with it while I'm dealing with snow. Just feels like a bad idea. I also have like, I wouldn't say a fear of driving. I have a healthy respect for what I'm doing while driving, which is operating a giant machine that can kill people. So I am a, despite the fact I speed at times, um, I am a generally safe driver. I have been in one car accident and it was not my fault. I wasn't even driving. It was my car, but I was not driving. I was the passenger and we were found we're, I live in a no fault state and we were found that we were not at fault. Um, so like that is how safe of a driver I am. And I am 35 I've been doing this for 20 years. So I, uh, not about to deviate Don't forget to take your from my plan and my, my way of doing things, uh, for this, for this stuff. But I am, I'm gonna be honest here, I'm starting to feel the effects of having worked all day, being in pain, as well as having gotten my vaccines yesterday while having an, a weakened immune system right now. So I'm gonna end it. I will be back on Saturday. For, for real Z, it'll be Saturday. Um, so I will see you guys then. Have a wonderful Wednesday night. I'm going to go get my packages, probably make a bracelet or two, and then I'll lay down. I'm going to shower and then go lay down. So I will catch you guys Saturday.